Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your Few-Way Films First Quarter 2020 Conference Call. All lines have been placed in the listen-only mode, and the floor will be open for questions following the presentation. At this time, it is my pleasure to turn the floor over to Xu Wei Yu. Please go ahead. Thank you and welcome. Before we start, I would like to remind you that certain statements that are not of historical facts made during the course of this conference call about future events and projected financial results constitute forward-looking statements that are made pursuant to the safe harbor provisions of the Private Security Litigation Reform Act of 1995. Uh, you should know that the company's actual results may differ materially from those projected in these statements due to a variety of factors affecting business. Forward-looking statements are subject to risks and uncertainties. A discussion of the factors that may affect future results is contained in our filings with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. We undertake no obligation to correct or update any forward-looking statements provided as a result of new information, future events, or changes in our expectations. Joining us on today's call is Mr. Yong Jiang, Corporate Secretary. Before I walk you through our financial results, Mr. Jiang would deliver his opening remarks Sir, please go ahead. Zhang Zhong, Ying Ching. 这样等收入的百分之四十七点九。另外，我们已经连续四个季度实现净利润。我们相信，这得益于公司持续的进行创新和研发，以及实行差异化销售战略。方乐公司拓展了中端客户范围。我们将在接在利，以其未来还将进一
the first quarter were RMB 15.0 million, US 2.1 million, which was RMB 1.5 million or 11.1% higher than the same period in 2019. This increase was mainly due to the increased accrued allowance for downward accounts receivable and increased transportation expenses. To the company during the first quarter was RMB 13.0 million, US 1.8 million, compared to net loss attributable to the company of RMB 3.4 million during the same period in 2019. The net earnings per share was RMB 3.97, US 56 cents for the three month period and March 31st, 2020, while basic and valued net loss per share was RMB 1.03 for the three months period ended March 31st, 2019. It was RMB 221.1 million or US 31.2 million as of March 31st, 2020, compared with RMB 208.2 million as of December 31st, 2019. 2020, the company had 3,265,000 and 837 basic and diluted ordinary shares outstanding. Cash and cash equivalents on March 31st, 2020 was RMB 55.7 million or US 7.9 million compared with RMB 60.9 million as of December 31st. I'd like to thank our shareholders for the continued loyalty and support. We believe we are well positioned to face the current challenges and are committed to providing value to our shareholders and customers. We will keep you informed of our progress. With that, Mr. John will be happy to answer your questions. Christy, let's begin the Q&A. Thank you. If you would like to ask a question, please press star then one on your microphone keypad at any time to join the queue. And if you're using a speakerphone, please pick up your handset to provide the best sound quality. Again, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to ask a question, it is star one on your telephone keypad. And we'll pause just a moment to give everyone a chance to signal. I'm showing no questions from the audience at this time, so I'll turn it back over for any closing remarks. Today's conference call, we look forward to being in touch with you and uh, we'll keep you updated about our progress. And that does conclude today's conference call. Thank you for attending. You may disconnect your lines at this time and have a great day.